so before I start, there might be some new people here. If you're new, I we all know my main income is OF. I'm in the adult industry, okay? Well, I work a PRN job in nursing homes in four different nursing homes in the tri-state area. They will text me like, hey, do you wanna work? Can you work? And I'll be like, yes or no, okay? Been doing this for over a year and a half for these same four nursing homes. Well, I get a text from one of them yesterday asking if I wanna work today. And I was like, I had plans, but if you're really that low staffed, yes, I will come in. Of course I will. Um, so, I don't know whether to laugh or cry right now. Um, I clock in. Okay, I clock in. And this lady I've never seen before, she was like, are you Jalen? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, you need to come to my office. I was like, okay. And I thought for sure it was going to be like a COVID test or something along those lines. Oh, no. She, right when I, she closed the door. I walked in, she closed the door, and she was like, I got to let you go. And I was like, like, I was waiting for her to tell me why she was letting me go. Like, she didn't say anything. So I was like, for what? Like, why are you letting me go? And she said, it's came to my attention of what your main income is and what you do online and how you're this big social media person. At that moment, I was already realized. I was like, here we fucking go. Okay. So she said, I knew about your occupation a couple months ago, but you weren't really that big. So it wasn't really a big deal to me. And I can't really fire somebody for doing what you do. And basically is what she said her words. I can't fire somebody for doing what you do. Then she proceeded to say that, you know, it, like it wasn't a big deal a couple months ago when she found out because no one was talking about it. Well, I guess every time that I've been working lately that the CNAs and the nurses have been talking about me at the nurse station while I'm in a patient's room. Okay. Well, I am always doing care on somebody. They're at the nurse's station. No, oh. I didn't even have the mic. I mean, you know, I'm not one to advocate for women to go on OnlyFans, but, you know, it's a legal source of income. And if you're one of those modern females out there that want to get into your money real deep uh, and you don't care what people think about you, then that's an option for you. Um, I do believe, though, assuming that this story is true, I'm sure it didn't become an issue until somebody, you know, started airing around the nursing homes to other staff members that this person was on OnlyFans. And if anybody who's worked in a small office environment or any, even a nursing home, we call that an office environment, right? Um, where there's a majority female staff base there, you already know women are going to be jealous. They'll do things to be petty to each other. So I have no doubt that this was something that was brought to management's attention to spite this woman here because maybe the other staff members are jealous or they may look down on the profession being a I guess our only fans entrepreneur um, and ultimately this is what happened but this isn't the first time a staff member who has been fired or ter yeah terminated from a position because you know their only fans accounts have been leaked around you know the organization I remember there was a story of a police officer who who did I think she, she may have did a minimum 10 years um, on the force in her department and she was removed from that position by her leadership because of her OnlyFans account circling, circulating around uh, the organization. I think the reason for that is because the OnlyFans, you know, account, the lifestyle, being a OnlyFans content creator, in my opinion, brings shame to the organization. You know, and if you're working for, especially if you're working for the public, you know, you know that. What you, it's not about simply what you do on the clock. It's also what you do outside of work that can cause a positive or negative Im, uh, image on the organization. So that's ultimately what I think why this woman was fired. Looking at my Instagram, looking at my Twitter, looking at my site. Like they paid for my site so they all could see and look at the nurse station while they're on the clock. No, that's, that's immature. That's immature. Okay. And she said that she can't have that happening every time that I work. So she has to let me go. Like, girl, did you just hear yourself? These women are literally taking your time that you pay them for 
sitting at the nurse station, buying my stuff, looking at my socials while I'm in a room doing care, but I'm the problem and I get let go. Now, sometimes people come up with like umbrella uh, answers, especially if you're in a right to fire state as to why they're letting you go. I mean, I don't know what the hiring manager or whoever the manager was who told this woman this, um, but, you know, instead of just coming out and saying, hey, we're firing you because you have an OnlyFans account and you're an OnlyFans content creator, they probably just came up with some other reason, you know, some umbrella general answer just to let her go. Um, and unfortunately, she probably doesn't have any, you know, appeal rights in that. But you know that that's just a risk that you take when you do porn when you do these adult content you know platforms and things like that if it gets out regardless of how petty it may be if people are logging in to your instagram checking you out you know that that's going to happen especially if you're working in these small uh, small office environments where people have a lot of downtime and they may not like you or maybe you know rumors and all that stuff that's all of uh, uh, elements of working in this type of environment you have to be prepared for things like this to happen now i'm not feeling sorry for this woman because if she's what she works in a nursing home she probably has some cna license or something like that so she could find another job and if she's the only fan content creator i'm sure she's making you know decent money on this looking at what i'm seeing on the screen right now i'm sure she's you know got a decent income from that so um you know I'm sure she'll make it through this, but it's just a message to women that if, you know, being a, having an OnlyFans account, using your body to get likes and get money and all that stuff, it comes with a price, you know what I mean? You have to, so a lot of times you have to pick one or the other. It's either you're going to be an adult content creator, a porn star, be on OnlyFans, or work a regular job, a more respectable profession in my opinion but let me know what you guys think in the comment section box below i could be wrong about this but i don't think i am make sure you hit this like button hit that share button hit that subscribe button if you can only do one please hit that like button i'll catch you guys on the next one i'm out